MTD CNC are back in Stourbridge today. We're at Micro Plus Engineering. We came here a few months ago. They've bought or had just bought a new, a new star sliding head lathe. They've got four machines here now. They've also just invested in HFT, high frequency turning software. Let's go and have a chat with Adam and learn about what the new software has done for his swarf control. Adam, good to see you again. Hi, um, now, come here to talk about Swarf Control. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you bought your machines, uh, or, or new machine recently from Star, but you've got yep. four machines here now. You've got the HFT software now installed across all of these yep. machines, I believe. Have you, is that correct? All four machines, yep. And um, especially on this one, which is our oldest Star machine. So how old is this particular model? This one, we bought this one new in June 2007. Okay, now let's have a look uh, straight away at some examples of some of the swarf and the, the differences here, because this, this is really what you want to see. So, Adam, tell us, uh, give us, give us what swarf you were producing initially on this machine. This is um, 316 stainless. This is an example of it without the HFT on, and this is running full production with HFT on. As you can see, all the chips easily manageable, being collected in the bin and get ready for recycling. And what, what has it, how has this improved your production? I mean, it might, might sound like an obvious question, but what has it enabled you to do? Keep the machine running out of hours, maybe? Well, as I run all the four mach machines myself and sort out the business as well, it has made a, a great deal of impact for me. I can leave the machines running, I can answer the phone, do quotes, source material, knowing the fact that these machines will be running as of when I need to. And does it have any bearing on the, the, the final tolerance of the part or the surface finishes on the components? No, not to be honest. Um, slight difference in surface finish on some materials, but the majority, you, you can't tell the difference. And there is a, another slight alteration in cycle time, but you, you have to weigh that up to having the door up, getting the swarf off, or having the machine running as you want to. Which is a complete pain, Kevin, yeah. to keep going back to the machine. I want to have a look at how it's actually, how it works on the control, because this will be of interest to our audience as well. It's one thing having the control of the swarf, but how do you go about programming it? So just, just give us a very brief idea of, of how it all goes together. I mean, you obviously have to contact Star, and then they come along and install the software. But once they've done that, how does it work? Well, it's quite simple really. Across all four machines, it's exactly the same code. It's just a simple M1800 code with your Z1 axis and your, your timers. And to, to turn the, the, the uh, software off, it's M1801. And that's running on this machine and all the way up to our brand new SR38. OK, we're going to have a look at that machine next. What it's important to say as well, I suppose, if you haven't got the software installed, and you put those M codes in, nothing would happen. No, don't try that, no. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look at the other machine. Now here, Adam, this uh, particular model here, this is the SR38 Type B, this is one of your latest purchases, wasn't yeah. it? When did you buy this? We bought this in uh, December 2016. And Annette, we may be going over a bit of old ground here, but what, why did you actually buy this machine? Because it's quite a, a, a sophisticated multitasking sliding head, isn't it? Yeah, extra capacity bar size-wise and just all the driven tools that you can get on this machine, plus the angled milling and drilling. Swarf control on here as well. Now, what I do notice, this is very interesting, we do still have some stringier swarf on here, mm -hmm. but we've also got swarf that you've been using the HFT software. Just tell us what the difference is and why we've got one and the other. Well, the stringy swarf, that's purely part-off swarf, um, which I'm, I'm still running a, a high-pressure hose through the part-off, so I don't really need to use the HFT on that as I'm getting the, the swarf off manageably. But the, uh, the finer swarf, is, that is um, Z-axis turning. And can you use the HFT on every axis then? Is that the idea? Yes, I'm using it um, currently on head one on this machine. Uh, head one on that mach on the um, 20 mil over there, and head two on the uh, 32J. And, and before you were using it here on this machine, were, were you having problems with swarf on, on on some of your parts or a lot of your parts? Yeah, it, it was quite bad to be honest, and especially on the uh, on the Z axis turning. And if you took all of your turn parts here, which you're making, I mean, there's a lot of noise going in here. You're obviously very busy at the moment. Um, as a percentage of your work on a whole, how much of it are you getting the benefit or utilising the HFT software now on your machines? 
I'd say between 30 to 40 percent of the programs that are put on the machines now will have a HFT line involved in it. So that's 30 percent, 30 to 40 percent. So that means that you can spend all that time in the office taking orders or, yep. or, or trying to get orders. Yep. The, the more time I can spend in the office, the better it is for the firm. And the the, the next job I'm going to put on this machine is going to be using HFT on the y-axis cross-driven tools. So how much of a difference has it made for you, a, a bit of a eureka moment for the company then really? Yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer to be honest. If you've got a star machine, you, you should have this software installed as soon as possible just to keep yourselves up and running. And have you experimented on this in, on, on non-metallic products as well, like you know plastics, nylons maybe? Yeah, we, there's a job that we do on, uh, it's out of nylon, um, it's for the road industry. Before we put it on the stars with HFT, it was made on my dad's um, cap capstan Nemi mech down the, down the bottom of the shop. Um, we tried it once on the star, but we got that much swarf building up on the job that we couldn't control it or keep it running. But with the HFT and with a bit of help from Alec at Star, we've got the, the program um, through the machine and they just come off complete into the washer, out the door. So it's various metal components metallics and also also plastics or nylons as well yeah you can you can use it on anything apart from mild steel and brass to be honest <laughs> good stuff uh, sounds like that might be another yeah. order so there we have it high frequency turning from star gb if you're a sliding head lathe user this is an opportunity to improve your productivity uh, and, and get better swarf control that's hft from star gb